for nine months straight. You have to have order. patience. But I like it. Kate Greeter. It's actually somewhat meditative. Has traded in an office and computer. So far, it keeps astounding me every time I come and leave. Uh, I would think I'd be sick of it, but no, it's not happening at all. For this 80 by 35 foot, 45 year old curtain at Stevens Auditorium. It's a very unique project because of the scope. That is now her full time job. It's a tapestry, and it's unlike a typical tapestry. But for most people who spend this much time under the spotlights on center stage, it's usually more glamorous. An apron and we always wear masks and cover our eyes with some some sort of glasses. Armed with plenty of ordinary cleaning supplies. It's pretty basic. It's really vacuums, paintbrushes, a little bit of water, some microfiber rags, vulcanized sponge. But one not so ordinary vacuum. No, totally different vacuum. A much fancier vacuum. Kate, along with her two helpers, keeps busy. So far it's been slow going meticulous work. Day in. Some work is faster than others. And day out. You can do, you know, uh, 20 feet in a day and some work is much, much slower and it's a matter of three, four, five feet in a day. Carefully cleaning away. And it's a lot of meticulous vacuuming. We do the vacuum first, okay. and then we're going through with the rags and paint brushes and getting off, really getting in detail and sort of digging in. And stirring up what 45 years of performances have left behind. Layers and layers and a thick layer of dust. We've also found all sorts of bugs and confetti from different shows. A lot of dust. Kate's interest in the renowned curtain was sparked as a student here at Iowa State. This project came up and it's a once in a lifetime project, so I was excited to be a part of it. But she never dreamt that one day she'd be restoring such an iconic piece of ISU history. No, absolutely not. I did not, no. Actually, no. But I had. There aren't too many projects like this, so I couldn't have foreseen this. This textile conservationist is used to working on costumes and much smaller textiles, so she couldn't pass up this opportunity. I was thrilled. I was thrilled. This is actually the ideal job for me. I realize it takes a certain interest in this kind of project. Over the last several months, not only have Kate and her team been busy cleaning, they've been busy in the books, researching. From the name? In fact, it's called Silver Code, we're debating the translation of the name. To the meaning. There have been so many guesses, and everyone has a story as to what they think it means. And the design. Everyone sees something different. The curtain, made of mylar, polyester, and silk, among many other fibers, was constructed in a textile mill in Japan. It weighs 2,800 pounds. It came over in a crate, a huge crate, that weighed about 5,600 pounds. It originally cost about a little over 20,000 $20,500 to weave, but it cost over $50,000 to ship it. And it's one of two identical curtains. The other is draped in a Japanese cultural center. And for Stevens Auditorium. And other than the outside exterior, this is the epitome of the Iowa State Center, I believe. It is so magnificent. It's such a beautiful work of art. Commissioned by Bill and Dorothy Fisher on opening night at Stevens in 1969. And it's memorable. People remember this curtain. I remember the first time I came as a student in 1971 and I saw this curtain for the first time. I've totally forgotten whatever the performance was, but the curtain was just such a visual feast that you remembered this place. So seeing the dramatic difference Kate is making. It's thrilling. <laughs> yeah. Even as I say that, the hair on the back of my neck's just going up. I, yeah, I get tingly. We're saving it for the next generations of Iowa State. And for the thousands of spectators over the last four and a half decades. It touches a lot of people. Playing home to some of the most famous ballets, symphonies, and entertainers, such as the New York, L.A., and Boston Philharmonic Symphonies, to the Russian Ballet, and more recently, Bill Cosby. I can only imagine if you were a performer and you're standing behind that curtain when it goes up and the audience responds to you, it has to be... Uh, an undefinable life experience. This well-known work of art has been a staple and will continue to be. And this curtain symbolizes you're in a very special place. Thanks to a now professional curtain restorer, it's breathing new life. Works of art like this are life-changing. Alex Murphy, Iowa State University News Service.